Well, what a Champions League tie we had today. Manchester City won, Barcelona 2. Who predicted it? Your man right here. But we're not going to talk about that. If you want to see the goals, look in the section below. Because we're going to talk about what the problem was for Manchester City straight off the bat. People tweeting, 4-4-2, four, four, what are we doing? 4-4-2, four, four, what are we doing? If you play a 4-4-2, four, four, it doesn't matter what you play. You could play a 4-6 and pack the defence. But if you've got guys like Vincent Company and Fernando who just run and try and dive into people all over the field, you're going to concede goals. Company, to be honest, he's first error, I felt a little bit bad for him. Unfortunate, headers it right off Suarez, and it's a great finish from Luis Suarez into the bottom corner, who was on fire from the get-go. But it's the second goal. What on earth have you got to do by diving into Rakitic outside of your 18-yard box, leaving a huge gaping hole, company? Why would you do that? And you're just leaving the defences at the back with no one there to mark. And there's people saying, oh, if we had five in the midfield, that doesn't matter. You can have six in the midfield and six centre midfielders, but if you dive in and you've got no discipline, you're going to be at fault. So I I have to criticise people for coming in and saying that they packed the midfield. That's not the problem. Yes, it might have helped a little bit if you had three centre midfielders, but if you've still got Fernando chasing Mas Mascherano back in his own half, what, why do you have to do that? What is the point? So, company dives in, the ball finds its way out to Jordi Alba, and who's there? Suarez. Breaks in the middle of the two centre backs because company's out of position, slots it in, and it's 2 0. And people again tweeting, this 4 4 2 is a problem. Pellegrini is no mastermind, but it's not the formation, it's his personnel and the understanding that they have and the discipline. So, things started to change a little bit for Manchester City towards the end of the second half. They started to make things stick a little bit. They should have pushed out, pressed Barcelona in their own half. When they'd done that in the second half, look what happened. They were more success. I didn't understand bringing on Fernandinho I thought it would be like bringing on Ray Charles for Stevie Wonder you're just bringing on the same thing but he was the one that made the direct pass funny enough and just was like alright Francis there you go you get one moment wrong I'll put my hands up it was a good pass linked up David Silva and Aguero scored it was coming Manchester City looked a better team in the second half but again it's stupid defensive errors that could have cost them this tie right out Zabaleta Lionel Messi's running in your box mate why on earth do you consider on diving in like you just shield him you don't need to dive in, even if there was contact or not. You give away a penalty, and it's a foolish decision. And I'm not biased here. People call me biased. I am the most non-biased person in the world, unless it's Celtic, of course. I'm going to tell you how it is. Poor decision, and they got an absolute stroke of luck. Great save from Joe Hart. All credit to him. But Lionel Messi missing a diving header from three yards, trying to put it neatly in the corner. That is never going to happen again. And that is a lifeline for Manchester City to take to Barcelona if they can try and somehow salvage this result. But they're going to have to think about personnel and discipline. Yes, they might go with a 4-5-1 and they might play a little bit better, but it's not going to be just the formation, lads it's, and ladies. It's going to be the discipline of the formation. Having Yaya Touri back is going to be humongous because he has that discipline. He knows when you should dive in and when you should stand up. Not like Fernando who runs around like a headless chicken. Vincent Company, who had a game which was pretty good against Newcastle. I thought he'd understood and that he diving in was not the way forward, but obviously not. You have to take him aside and be like, mate, you're the captain. You should be leading by example. Hold a structured formation against Barcelona. So there you have it. There's my rant. Got my prediction right on. Make sure to check out the tactics video. Check out our Champions League, all of our coverage. And stay tuned for plenty more. Thanks again. Subscribe to TYT Sports.